Hi, morning. Uh, welcome to Satya Squad. I am Satya Squad. Anil. My name is Anil. So, we are going to start a travel to Muktinath. Muktinath is one of the famous Vishnu temples. Among the 108 temples, famous Vishnu temples, 105 are in India and one of them is in Nepal. And that famous one is Muktinath. Yeah, we started our journey from Hyderabad and we reached Pokhara and this is Pokhara airport. From here we are going to catch a chartered flight to reach to Jamsam. It takes around 30 to 40 minutes to reach Jamsam. Usually the flight operates from morning 6 am to 9 am only and after that you cannot fly to Jamsam. So finally we reach Jamsam. Welcome to Jamsam. The climate here changes drastically and after around 12 to 1 pm uh, it becomes uh, uh, cloudy where the uh, flights cannot operate and that's the reason why uh, they usually don't operate the flights after 9 am. Uh, Trekkers Inn is the hotel that we stayed in for one night and uh, from Johnson to Muktinath uh, there is around uh, 20 kilometers of roadway where we need to catch a bus and we need to travel to Muktinath for 20 kilometers and on the way you can see all the buildings and usually they build of wood and on the way we also see the river uh, Gandaki uh, usually uh, the river Gandaki uh, flows on most of most parts of uh, Nepal uh, you can see the roadway usually it's hilly and uh, there are some special stones available uh, in this river uh, those are called saligrams usually we find these uh, inside the temples the saligrams yeah these are the ones hindus believe that uh, lord vishnu resides in these uh, saligrams usually we pray these inside the temples the road is not plain uh, as such you can see uh, heaps and dumps on the road and it took around one hour for us uh, to reach to the top of the mountain. So, Muktinath is around um, 12,500 uh, feet height uh, above the sea level, and it took around one hour for us to reach on the, on the top. On the way, you will find houses built of stone, usually temporary houses where uh, the people they can't live throughout the year over there. They only live there only for uh, two to three months and the rest of the time it's snow so they can't live there. On the way, you will find people trekking on these roads. This is um, Tinat's bus stand. And from here we cannot uh, travel by bus any longer and we have to take we have to walk uh, to the mountain top <laughs> and that is around two kilometers from uh, the bus stop uh, people can walk or uh, there are alternates like uh, they can go by a horse or there are people to carry them uh, and a bit bit tough uh, for old people as the oxygen levels are too low uh, while you go walk through on the to the top and this is the beginning of the footsteps after walking for some time and then uh, taking the steps for some time we finally reach the temple uh, the temple is not that big but it's powerful uh, you'll find two uh, ponds in front of the temple the temple has uh, the idols of uh, Mahavishnu, Lakshmi and Saraswati uh, which are made up of gold. There are 108 spouts behind the temple and two gundas or ponds in front of the temple. Uh, uh, people visiting Muktinath usually takes a uh, bath uh, from, this, uh, from the flow of these 108 gun um, spouts and the two ponds, two ponds and it is believed that uh, the water that flows from the bullhead is called Muktidhara and it is usually cold and frozen. Uh, people, uh, it is believed that uh, 
it brings salvation to the people who uh, take a bath under these uh, 108 spouts and the two ponds you can you can see the surroundings now it's hilly and the climate is cold it's pleasant actually it's a bit cold but pleasant you'll find people chanting over there It's monsoon in the months of June, July, August and the best time is uh, September, October, November. Usually it's fully covered, of, covered with snow uh, during the other months of the year. The temple is open from February till November. Mm. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye bye.